Hello, my name is Len Furman. I'm the former head of ideation at Bank of America. I'm also a world juggling champion, as you probably have guessed that is running while juggling. And today, I will be teaching all of you how to juggle. Now I know already what you're thinking. You're saying to yourself, did he just say he's going to teach me how to juggle? Not me. I can't even chew gum and rub my tummy at the same time. But the fact of the matter is, you can all learn how to juggle if you just give it a try, follow my basic steps, and do not fake your participation. Now whenever I'm teaching a group of people how to juggle, I always teach them how to juggle using these scarves. See which object will fall to the ground first when I throw it. I'm going to throw the ball and the scarf at the same time. Here we go. And as you see, the scarf loses by quite a bit, but this gives the scarf a great property, and that is that the scarf floats in the air and gives us lots of time to catch it. Learning how to juggle is no different than learning a complex process at work. In order to learn that process, we don't dive in and try to conduct the whole process at once the first time. We have to learn all the steps for that process. So in the same way, we're going to break juggling down into its elementary steps. We're going to start with just one scarf. The reason we use a scarf to learn how to juggle is because it floats in the air. You have a lot of time to catch it. The first thing we're going to do, the first step in learning how to juggle, the first step in this process, we're just going to learn how to throw this one scarf. So at this point, one of the key things we're learning is that juggling is all about patterns. And there's infinite ways that you can juggle, infinite patterns. Now this has a lot of analogies for us at work, because when we're analyzing data, or if we're looking at what's going wrong in a particular process, it's all about identifying the patterns, seeing the patterns, categories, and themes in your data. Or when we're looking at a process and trying to improve it, we have to see the patterns of what's going wrong and where are the opportunities to improve. When we're throwing two scarves, the pattern is throw right, throw left, catch left, catch right. Now it's a little hard to remember, so I've come up with this little saying that makes it easy to get the rhythm for two scarves. It goes like this. Criss-cross applesauce. Criss-cross applesauce gives you the rhythm every time. Now I know it may feel a little silly to say something like that out loud, but I'm asking you to stray out of your comfort zone because this is very similar to what we ask people to do at the start of a brainstorming session. We want, we want to help people get into the frame of mind to help generate great ideas. Now, in order to become a great juggler, you need to learn balance. And to demonstrate balance, I'm going to use this razor sharp machete. I'm going to be balancing it on my nose. Now the reason I am balancing this on my nose is not just to entertain you, but to show you that in order to become a great juggler, you have to be able to keep your body in perfect balance, and that's the only way that I can keep the machete balanced on my nose. Now balance has a lot of applications in work also. We need to strive for a perfect balance in the tasks we are conducting each day. We can't spend too much time on the things we like to do and neglect the things that we also must do but don't like to do as much. We have to strive for perfect balance in our priorities at work every day. As you're juggling three scarves, I want you to focus on just two priorities, and that is throw across catch, throw across catch, throw across catch. I want you to filter out all the other extraneous information. Just like at work, we need to focus on our priorities in order to get things done and filter out all the unnecessary information. Now, a lot of people ask me, why is it that business people should learn how to juggle? Well, I'm going to answer that through a little business juggling story. It goes like this. You see, every day we go to work and we basically go through the same motions. We strive for error-free processes and we're always thinking inside the box. But today, I'm going to teach you how to think out of the box, in different patterns, in ways you didn't think were possible before. And along the way, we're going to learn some valuable lessons about increasing productivity and how to innovate better.